Hey guys, congratulations on your purchase of the PR Traffic Booster. Now just before you get going and start working with it, I want to make you aware of one of the methods that we use. I teach you of a method of making brand new posts on Tumblr using images. We use images as link bait and from these images we're going to be gaining do follow high page rank backlinks. Now. Now the better your image is, the more it's going to get liked, the more it's going to get reblogged, the more traffic you're going to get and um, animated GIFs work fantastic on Tumblr and we've come up with a brand new tool called the PR Pixel Magic guys. It allows you to do all these images you see here and it allows you to do so much more. It creates these four animated GIF type, type of images from any image you give and it also creates this type of animation as well and creates a, a number of effects. But not only that guys, it allows you to go out, add any URL that you like like and it'll actually go and scrape hundreds and hundreds of images for you either in a URL format or on your hard drive and the PR traffic booster supports both formats so I'm gonna bring up the PR traffic booster guys I've added it I've, I've added in four 14 URLs um, the 14 URLs of my own guys and I'm telling it to scrape some images in GIF format PNG format JPG and JPEG and it works with up to a hundred threads it's one thread per keyword guys and I've told it to save to an images path called scraped images so i'm going to open this path up here guys as you can see there's no images in there and i'm going to click on start and the pr and the pr pixel magic is actually going away and scraping these images and you can actually see them images start accumulating towards the back end so from 14 url guys we're using 14 threads it does run up to with up to 100 threads and you can use it as many times as you like and we've um, we've got 106 images you can see all the images here guys fantastic and it's very quick very easy and this in return on your PR traffic booster would actually work out to be a hundred a hundred and six posts that you can actually have and queued up for getting do follow backlinks from now we're gonna to go to the image modifier tag guys you can do all of these you can do all of these effects that you see here um, on this page here guys I'm gonna take you through a few I don't want to take too much of your time um, so I'm just gonna take you through a few here what we're gonna do is we're gonna add we're gonna make this colorized effect here guys I'm just gonna try and show you exactly how quick it is to actually make these effects we're gonna to go to demo image and inside of the demo image I've got the Mona Lisa image that you see on this website guys and as you can see it's only this image here so what I'm going to do is open up the PR, uh, PR uh, Pixel Magic, go to Colorize Effects, and I'm going to pick on Colorize 3, um, and you can actually custom color your own ones as well by picking the red, green, and blue effects that you want. I'm going to click on Convert. As you can see, within under a second, it's actually popped up the image for us, and we've got our effect on that image. Fantastic. Very easy to manipulate images, guys. You don't need any coding language or any... Um, type of knowledge whatsoever you can actually pick up the PR pixel magic and start getting on with your images straight away you can batch rename images you can create transparent backgrounds guys you can convert images from JPG PNG and GIF to other formats um, you can add borders as you can see from here guys oops from here we've actually got a large border on there you can create borders as well guys you can pick from whatever colors that you want that you have selected from here and there's more as well with the down arrow there and you can actually pick the size of the border thickness and you can resize images uh, which allows you to actually um, scrape loads of images from the internet obviously hopefully and I'm going to be teaching you about um, creative common images and you can actually resize the images and then start doing some real good effects with them and there's so many more options that you can do with this as well we'll go to black and white guys and i'll show you just the one image we're doing black and white again we can we're going to be working with the mona lisa guys and you can actually do batch images as well guys um but for this example i'm just going to do the one click on create black and white and there we go black and white's been done we can crop this image as well very simple very straightforward and there you go and it gets saved over for us as well in the applicable file and as you can see this is the black and white image here we've got a number of other options that we've got as well guys again we've got all these here I'll just show you a few animated gifs and um, some of the real cool ones I'm going to show you some watermarks first guys um, I'm going to enter well I'm going to load the um, Mona Lisa image here again guys and I'm going to type in you can type anything here it can be a URL or anything you like again when you're actually loading them onto say for example Pinterest or Tumblr or Instagram uh, you can write something like pin me follow me reblog me and it does really work well so I'm going to type on here follow me for example do it in capitals whatever and for brand awareness of course you can have your own URLs in here as well you've got a number of options from here choose from light colors dark colors um, we're going to have a light color on here 
Uh, we'll do gravity, we'll put the gravity towards the center. Uh, we'll keep the font size as it is, but you can change that as well. We'll keep the font as it is as well, but you can change the font as well. The fonts work from whatever you got installed on your own computer, nothing extra to install with the fonts. And the transparency as well, we'll keep the transparency about 90 and we'll click on add watermark. And as you can see, we've already got the watermark on there. Not too clear there guys, we could have it towards the top or change the um, area as well, even change the color to a darker color or maybe the transparency. We can crop from here as well if we want to guys, very simple and very straightforward. But what I'm gonna do is show you some real cool, unique twists that we've got, our, got of our own inside of this um, software as well. So I'm gonna go over to the scraped images, oops. I'm gonna go over to these scraped images again guys. I'm gonna delete a few of these scraped images because uh, we don't wanna work with them all. So as you can see from here, we've got 31 images in here now. Um, I'm gonna load some watermarks. I've actually got a watermarks file and I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna go to demo and I'm gonna go to watermarks. As you can see, my watermarks have loaded in here and the software actually also supports spin the syntax. And what the software is gonna do now, well, I'm gonna tell the software first of all that I wanna import a whole folder and I want the system to watermark the whole folder. So I'll go to scraped images. Oops, where have we gone? Demo and scraped images. And I'm gonna, I've imported, I've imported these watermarks there and I'm gonna click on add watermark. And you should actually see a folder up here. As you can see, there's a folder there. It's actually adding the watermarks. You've got a process bar here as well, guys. Now we're doing 31 images, so it's gonna take a little longer, but it's gonna actually add random watermarks to them all. And of course you can have just the one watermark in here. If you wanted to add, say for example, prtrafficbooster.com to all of your images, then you can have just the one and do them all at once. I'm not sure if you can actually see the watermarks on here through this, but if you can't, let me click on a few of these. This one says pin me. Um, now obviously it depends on the color of your background as well, how good it is. Um, this one says like me. Um, I don't know if you can see this one here. This one says reblog me. Um, this one says like me as well. Um, so it's real cool um, to actually have this as a real nice companion. I mean, you know, having some real cool images with some cool text on there works real well. Um, but I'm sure uh, loads of you are going to be wanting to use it for brand awareness as well. So you can do that by adding your URLs or whatever you want in here as well. Now let's go over to Sketch. I'll give you a quick example of how the Sketch works, guys. I'll import that one image again, uh, Mona Lisa image, and I'll click on Create Sketch. Now this is creating a sketch for us out of this Mona Lisa image. Give it a second and there you go. There's our sketch version in there. And we're gonna go over to animation now, guys, just so I can keep this video short. What I'm gonna do is, again, I'm gonna point over to our scraped images. So demo, scraped images, and I'm gonna delete this watermark folder from the scraped images now. This is the scraped images here, guys. I'm gonna tell the software that I'm gonna keep the delay between seconds exactly the same. What we're doing on this one, guys, is we're actually creating this image here. So it's the delay between when it shows the next image. Um, so I'll keep that on how it's already set. I'll keep the width and height exactly how it is. I'm gonna tell the software that I only, only wanna create one animated GIF, even though I've got 30 or so images in there. I don't know how many images. Yeah, we've got 31 images in there. Um, I'm gonna tell the, well, what we'll do, we'll actually take a few of these images out. We don't want this many. We don't wanna be working with this many images as well. Um, so we're only gonna do a short demo. Uh, we're gonna tell the software we only wanna work with, say, seven images, and I'm gonna click on create animated GIF. So you, obviously you can speed it up, you can slow it down as well, but I'm gonna show you exactly what other features this has got as well. So I'm gonna click on open with, and I'm gonna open with Firefox, and as you can see, it's actually rotating through our animated GIFs now, or our images, which is fantastic. But what else this software can do as well, guys, is say, okay, I'm, I'm still using the same folder, but I wanna create three animated GIFs using seven images out of them, say, for example, 10 images, but I wanna create three animated, but to do three animations and use seven images out of the images that we got in there, and this time what it's gonna do is actually shuffle up the images and make three types of animations for us. So we're gonna click on create animated GIF, and as you can see, the software's already working away in the background there, and it's already giving us um, a section down here telling us exactly how it's doing the animations for us as well, or how it's actually, uh, where the process is at. So there you go there. We can click on here, we can see three different animations there, guys, three different images as well, and we can actually open them with, and we can see the effects of them there as well. So that's fantastic, guys. And again, you can actually speed it up. You can, oops. Again, guys, you can speed it up and you can actually make it slower as well. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at one more animation down here, guys. Uh, we can do all these animated animations here as well. Um, let's look at the very top one, guys. As you can see, that's super fast there. What we're gonna do, we can actually speed that down. Uh, that's the animated mixer. Um, as you can see, I've actually labeled it there. That's the animated mixer, guys. I'm gonna import, um, this time I'm gonna use um, the Mona Lisa image again, the demo image, 
and we're going to use the animated mixer we're going to keep on a slow speed this is a bar up here guys we can have a faster speed or a slower speed we can keep it on a slow speed we can click on create animated gif and again you can do all the other options or sorry you can do all the other animations that you see here as well guys um, but we're not going to go through them now just for the sake of saving a bit of time and um, because i'm sure you're dying to actually get along and start working with the pr traffic booster as well so here's the image guys as you can see it's much slower compared to what we have on the website i'll compare that to with this image here guys that we've got on the website this is much faster and obviously you can make it much faster so again guys one of the methods that we go through uh, in the pr pixel in the pr uh, traffic booster guys um, is using images as link bait and animated gifs um, funny images watermarks um, sketches black and white images work an absolute treat on tumblr and it's just going to really help us that much more uh, to actually get the effect that we're looking for so i really hope you can pick this up guys it's on a very special discounted price because you're purchasing the pr um, traffic booster um, and i really hope you enjoy working with it as well thank you very much and i really hope to see you on the inside